Hi, my name is Dr. Liz Burgess, and I'm a research scientist at the Anderson Cabot Centre for Ocean Life at the New England Aquarium. And I love dugongs. Dugongs are just remarkable. Often called sea cows, their closest land relative is actually the elephant. I saw my first dugong in a children's book. I was about eight or nine years old and my school was selling these books on endangered Australian species to help raise support for a hairy nosed wombat that my class was sponsoring. I'd never heard anyone talk about dugongs and I was just really fascinated by this weird looking creature that lived in our oceans. A couple of years later, my family moved from Sydney to Brisbane and I found out that dugongs lived right off the coastline of my new home. I was hooked. I needed to learn more. So what can you do? Stay curious, get informed, and the rest will take care of itself from there. Oh, and I recommend telling everyone what your favorite endangered species is. Happy Endangered Species Day. Hi, I'm Orla, an assistant scientist at the Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life at the New England Aquarium. I'm out here today looking for piping plovers, a threatened species of shorebird that you can find right here in New England. Piping plovers are a little larger than a sparrow. You might see them running along sandy shorelines or tidal flats in the spring and summertime when they migrate up here to build their nests and raise their young. Piping plover populations are threatened due to habitat loss and accidental harassment from cars, dogs, and people. Thankfully, there are some really easy things that you can do to help protect piping plovers. Make sure to obey signs asking you to keep your car or your dog off the beach or asking you not to walk in the dunes. If you do see a plover or a nest, make sure to give them space and observe from a distance. Thank you for recognizing Endangered Species Day and thank you for your help protecting piping plovers and other threatened and endangered species just like them. Hi, I'm Laura Ganley. I'm a postdoctoral associate research scientist at the Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life at the New England Aquarium. And I love polar bears, a species that's vulnerable worldwide and considered endangered in the United States. Polar bears rely on sea ice to allow them to get far offshore in order to hunt seals. I saw polar bears while flying aerial surveys in the Alaskan Arctic. They're difficult to see when they're out on the sea ice, but in the summer and fall, they tend to aggregate on the barrier islands to feed on leftover whale meat. You can help endangered species like the polar bear by helping in the fight against climate change. Drive less, reduce your electricity use, and let your local representatives know that you support policy that supports the fight against climate change. Thank you for your help and happy Endangered Species Day. Hi, my name is Bess Edwards, and I'm the program coordinator of the Marine Conservation Action Fund at the Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life at the New England Aquarium. I help support conservation leaders across the globe who are researching and protecting threatened and endangered species, including scalloped hammerhead sharks. I have always been fascinated by hammerhead sharks because of the unique hammer-like shape of their head. Here is a photo of a scalloped hammerhead shark we received from our MCAF fellow, Andres Lopez, from Mission Tiburon. Some of the many threats facing sharks are shark finning practices, commercial fishing that use long lines, bottom nets, and trawls, and fishing in shallow coastal areas where shark nurseries are impacted. You can help endangered species like the scalloped hammerhead shark by not supporting the shark fin trade. You can also choose seafood that is caught sustainably and has management practices in place to reduce shark bycatch. Thank you and happy Endangered Species Day. Hi, my name is Heather Pettis. I am an associate scientist at the Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life at the New England Aquarium, and I study the critically endangered North Atlantic right whale. I'll never forget the first time I saw a right whale it was from the air during a survey off the coast of Massachusetts. And I was blown away by their size and how effortlessly they swam through the ocean. One of the very first right whales that I saw during these surveys was a whale named Houdini, who was unfortunately entangled in fishing gear. It was a heartbreaking sight to see. 
Houdini isn't alone. More than 85% of North Atlantic right whales have been entangled at least once in their lifetime. And some whales have experienced multiple entanglement events. In fact, Houdini was named for his multiple escapes from entanglements, a total of six. Not all right whales are as lucky as Houdini to get out of their entanglements. You can help North Atlantic right whales live long, healthy lives by supporting regulations and policies that reduce the amount of entangling rope in the water. Write to and call your state and local representatives and let them know that you support ropeless fishing technologies and habitat protections for right whales. On behalf of the entire right whale research team here at the aquarium, we wish you a very happy Endangered Species Day. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Stevenson and I am the director of the Marine Conservation Action Fund at the Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life at the New England Aquarium. I help support conservation leaders across the globe who are working to study and protect endangered species, such as leatherback sea turtles. I became fascinated with leatherback sea turtles after seeing pictures like these from conservation heroes who are working to save these magnificent and massive animals. One of the many threats facing leatherback sea turtles is plastic pollution. You can help endangered species such as leatherback sea turtles by letting your decision makers know that you support policy that's good for the ocean, such as the Break Free from Plastic Pollution Act. You can also help by reducing the amount of single use plastic in your daily life. Thank you so much for your help and happy Endangered Species Day. Hi, my name is Michelle and I work as a program manager at the Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life at the New England Aquarium on wild fisheries. I love blue whales. This is an endangered species of marine mammal. And I just think they're so cool. They can get over a hundred feet long. Their hearts can weigh up to 400 pounds. Their brains up to 20 pounds. And even though it's such a big animal, there are a few people that I know that have been lucky enough to see one in the wild. So I'm still hoping one day. Um, I think of these animals because um, as a kid growing up in New York, my parents used to take me to the American Museum of Natural History all the time. And as soon as we got in the building, they would just let me loose and they didn't worry because they knew they could always find me um, in, the w in the room with a blue whale hanging from the ceiling, just standing under it, looking up at it in awe. And I think this is like my earliest connection of, um, of my love for the ocean, which is why I have such a special place in my heart for this animal. Some of the threats that are facing blue whales today are the same as those facing many other whale species, and that's um, ship strikes and entanglement in fishing gear. So some of the ways I think we can help these animals is to um, always respect vessel speed limit restrictions while on the water and make sure that all of our friends and families know to do the same. And also um, just to be aware that there are fishermen and women out there that are thinking creatively about this and trying to make sure that their fishing gear is not entangling whales and other wildlife um, and trying to support those operators when we can. Thank you.